Hello guys, so today I'm going to show you how to uh, set up a conf uh, CSGO server once you have uh, everything installed. Uh, so first of all, uh, you need a GSLT uh, token. So to do that, you are going, you need to go to the first link in the video description, uh, connect to Steam, and then uh, the first thing you want to do is type here 7 three zero for uh, so that's the game id of csgo then uh, whatever here csgo 1v1 stuff like that uh, and then click on create and um, you are going to see here uh, a list a big number so you want to copy that number and that's your gslt token then you go to your uh, terminal on and you log in into your uh, csgo uh, account which has the which uh, runs the CSGO server. So if you type in CD and then LS, you see CSGO server, LGSM, etc. So you go to CD LGSM slash LGSM uh, slash config LGSM CSGO server, press enter, LS. Um, so now you want to type CP underscore default to CSGO server, so that's copying this file, which is the default file to CSGO server, enter. Now, uh, nano CSGO servers to modify the file. So this is um, the Linux, Linux game uh, server manager uh, configuration file. So all you need to edit is uh, this and this, and the rest you can just leave it like this. So game type, um, as you can see here, there is a kind of um, um, a big panel with all the game type, a game mode, and what they uh, uh, and what they do. So, for example, if you type in uh, zero for game type and one for game mode, you are going to have classic competitive. Same for uh, classic casual, zero and zero. So, I'm going to leave it on classic casual. So, I'll just leave zero and zero. Uh, map group, you don't need to change that unless you know what you are doing. Um, so if you want to have a classic competitive, you need uh, MG active. So that's going to be dust two, etc. Uh, the IP, uh, you can just leave it like that. So I don't change it. The port, that's the port your friends will need to join your server. So by default, it's 27015. So you can change it to whatever you want. Client port, you don't need to change that. Source TV port, you don't need to change that either. Uh, default map, you put in whatever you want. Here it's Mirage. Max player, so that's the max number of player. I will leave it to 16. Tick rate 64 or 128. Uh, 128 will uh, take more resources on your server, so be aware of that. I'll leave it on 64. And then uh, here is where you want to paste your GSLT uh, token. So it's going to be a big number like this, I don't know, with uh, a lot of numbers, etc. So you paste it and you should be done. Uh, this here, you can uh, go on uh, the wiki of uh, Linux Game Server Manager. I'll have it in the video description if you want to uh, configure the rest of this uh, file. And uh, it's not really important. So. You do what you want and it depends on your use of the server. So now press Ctrl O to save and then Ctrl X to uh, escape the file, to, to leave the file. Now you would type CD to go back to the uh, files, to the root of the, the folder. Then type CD CS, uh, server files CSGO uh, LS. And so those are all your uh, CSGO for the uh, files. Then uh, here, map cycle and map list, you can modify those if you want. Uh, so map list will change the um, list of all the map that can be played on your server. And uh, nano map cycle will, um, those are all the map that will uh, cycle on your server. So you play Dust2, then Aztec, then Office, you can change that, of course. Um, then you want to type in CD, CFG. LS, so those are all the files you can uh, change, but I don't recommend changing any of them except for CSGO server, so nano csgo server.cfg. So this is the this one here is the name of your CSGO server. So right now it's Linux GSM, but you can put whatever you want. 
the aircon password so if you want to access the console of your server from the console in game so that's very useful the password for the server if you want to make the server private etc the contact etc uh, etc et uh, the most important here is svlan0 so if you put it to one uh, this will give you uh, this will uh, allow other player outside of your network to join your server so that's very important i recommend you set it to one if you want to play with friends uh, and that's pretty much it if you need to add uh, CVARs on your server. So CVARs like this, uh, you can, uh, so for example, I don't know, SV underscore weapons or stuff, anything like that. You can put them here and uh, every time you start the server, those commands will run. So this will apply every time you run the server, which is very useful. Uh, so you don't need once you've set everything here, you can just run the server and you should be good to go.